This is the original underpainting, and I really like the blue part where the orange and the blue kind of co-mingled, but I especially liked where the colors joined. What I didn't like was the flat orange, so I wanted to oil up that section and paint back into it. So I thought I'd try some Neo McGilp and see how that worked. Now here's some of the texture up close of the finished painting. You can see it's very luscious. And where the orange, uh, the dried orange paint, you know, met with the wet paint, it, it worked really great. Now this is Neil McGill from Gamblin, and it's uh, a substitute for Marge Medium, and it is very low toxicity, and so I like it for that. Now this batch over here. Is been, has been sitting out for about a day. Uh, a little bit, you can see it's just a little bit stiffer than the Neo McGilp straight out of the jar. So actually, after I got into it, you can see this newer stuff is a little bit, you know, more liquidy. So as I got into it, I I, I kind of thought I I think I would have preferred to have let it go another day. Now here's my color. I've got some oranges, and uh, those are cadmium. Oranges, got some cadmium yellow light, some cadmium red light, and then I've commingled some of the blues in from the rest of my palette. And um, I'm going to push that a little bit further. Now, here's the Neo McGilp going on to the dry canvas. And um, I'm just going to mix up some random colors. I want to have a lot of broken colors, so there's a lot of energy in the strokes. I added a little bit of blue in there, a little bit of that purple. So I'm going to swipe that off my palette knife, and I'm going to rub it into the layer of Neo McGilp. Now initially, I sort of panicked. I thought, oh boy, this is not working. It's sort of melting. You can see the, the blobs of paint kind of sliding down. But as I pushed the paint more and more into the canvas, it seemed to... Um, work a lot better. Now I, I still think I would have let it dry maybe an extra day on my palette, but um, as it went along it, it just started it started blending about right. Now this is really quite thick so um, you can see why I might have wanted to let it dry just a little bit on the palette to get it to thicken up. Now I mixed up some cadmium red with some cadmium orange and I'm just trying to make that boundary between the blue and the orange blend just a little bit better. Now at this point I'm pretty enthused. I'm thinking, wow, this is really working. You can see as I blend that orange into the, um, the Neo McGilp, it just, it just works almost perfectly. It's almost seamless between the really thick paint and the dry underpainting, which is exactly what I'd hoped to accomplish. So I'm just touching up a few things here and there and adding some yellows back in to just kind of transition that down to the bright orange. Now you can notice that on the original the orange was quite, it seemed quite high chroma, but as I've transitioned it from yellow down into, you know, adding some white here and there, um, down to the, the very high chroma orange, it seems to work much, much better. So. That's one thing about um, you know not you know uh, having a lot of broken color is it can look too, too high chroma, just that flat field of color. So I'm just kind of working some colors into the edges here, and uh, I think I actually got a little too orangey red, and I wanted to work it back a little bit towards the orangish yellow on the spectrum. So overall, I think it was a very, very uh, good experiment, and I'm definitely going to be using Neil McGilp in the future.